No thanks, Luke. The safest place for a painting is in the hands of its artist. <laughs> you see? The second it left my hands is when things went bad. Lane, it is so generous of you to donate one of your paintings to our community art auction. I can't wait to see it. Well, I'll show you right... A shame I don't have time to wait for you to finish turning it around. <laughs> All you have to do is throw a look over your shoulder. That's too bad. I think she really wanted to see it. Oh, hello, Luke. Mr. Stanley? Dupe, why are you dressed like a security guard? I've been taking classes to get my security certificate. Pam is letting me guard the art for the auction as practice for my final exam. All right, I guess I'll go put this in the storage room for safekeeping. Stop right there, dirtbag! <laughs> Take one more step, and I'll drop you where you stand. <laughs> is that a stun gun? Either that or an electric razor. I can never tell the two apart. <laughs> it makes shaving more of an adventure. Maybe you can escort me to the storage room. Right after I secure the area. I need you to guard the rest of this art with your life. I make no promises. Good enough. <laughs> Ooh. Doctor and baby. Don't worry, little fella. Uncle Lukey will take good care of you. <laughs> oh, no. Why is there never a doctor around when you need one? What am I going to do now? I can't raise this baby on my own. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Luke? Hi, Lori. I wasn't expecting to see you here. I came with Mom. Speaking of people expecting, what have you got under there? A baby. What? That's ridiculous. Why would you say that? Congratulations! It's a girl! I need your help fixing this. Duke put me in charge of the art, and he'll be back any minute. Hmm. I'm back. You're relieved of duty. What a cute little baby! It's so calm and quiet. Talk to me at 3 a.m. when she won't go to sleep. <laughs> Better get this down to the storage room for safekeeping. Wait. Is there something different about this statue? It definitely didn't break, if that's what you're asking. Doctor and baby carrots. <laughs> yep, it checks out. Hey, honey. You don't mind me hanging out in here with you until the auction starts, do you? Not at all, as long as you're helping. Absolutely. Helping myself to this chocolate mousse. <laughs> I meant helping make the mousse, not helping eat it. Oh, well, in that case, I'm out of here. <laughs> right after I wash this down with some milk. This milk is really chewy. <coughs> it's gone bad. Well, of course it's gone bad. You left it right next to the deviled eggs and the bad apples. What? Sorry. That's the sour milk talking. Ooh. Everything's gone bad. This fridge is completely dead. Oh, this one's dead, too. What are we going to do? Our moose won't set properly without refrigeration. What is wrong with you people? Two fridges are dead, and all you can think about is your precious moose. <laughs> Again, that's the milk talking. <laughs> all right, here's the plan. I'll distract you while you sneak down to the storage room and put the baby back. Got it. Hey, Doop. If there's a point to all this jibber-jabber, I suggest you make it. What? Rule number one in the security guard handbook. Never get distracted by pointless banter. I just wanted to chat about this crazy weather we've been having. Sorry. I can't get into that right now. Of course you can't. It's just the last place that you dry heat. 
Oh, man, I've wanted to talk to somebody about this for so long. What are your thoughts on barometric pressure? I have a theory. Well, several theories. The first one is that plants aren't really green. They're blue, but they paint themselves at night so that no one knows their plant. Hello, living room! Are you ready to rock? Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Just enjoying the coffee table rock concert. Is this a one night only gig or a coaster to coaster tour? You said you'd be at the Brock all day. Sorry, we had a major appliance meltdown at work, so we have to use the kitchen here instead. But don't stop the rocking. I wouldn't want you to disappoint your fans. Wait, you said we need to use the kitchen. Who's we? Me and Chelsea. She'll be here soon. Chelsea is coming here now? Mom, you can't just invite a girl over without giving me at least several months' notice. Why not? Because girls are gross and they smell like beautiful flowers and I just want to kiss them. <laughs> Goodbye, because I hate them so much. There, that glue should hold. Well, take care of yourself. I can't do it. I can't leave you here. You let go, you quack! Oh, no! I got glue on Dad's painting! When it's going to rain, I feel it in my knee. But when it's gonna hail, I feel it in my eyes. Mostly because I'm looking up at it. Stop talking about the weather! We need to get this art upstairs. You know what I love about art? It never looks the same to me twice. Let's hurry up and get this thing sold. It's super creepy. <laughs> oh, no! Luke! And I'm no art aficionado, but are paintings supposed to have bad breath? <laughs> 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 just supposed to glue the baby back to the doctor. I did. But it appears I have attachment issues. Hey, Lori. Admiring my work? A lot of people say my art really speaks to them. Hey, Dad. Hey, Luke. So this isn't good. First up, an original painting by local artist Lane Stanley. We'll start the bidding at 10. No, eight dollars. Eight dollars? The frame alone costs... just less than that. Dad, you can't let them sell Luke. Relax, I got this. We have eight dollars. Do I hear nine? We have nine. Do I hear ten? Check out Professor Moneybags with a nine dollar bid. Are you serious right now? I know, I know. We need to get Luke back at any cost. But nine dollars? Just keep bidding. That's ten. Do I hear eleven? We have eleven. Well, I'm out. Eleven once. Eleven twice. <laughs> Sold for eleven dollars to the man with no taste. When can I pick up this beautiful work of art? If you're referring to me, you can pick me up at seven for dinner. If you meant this hideous painting, it will be kept under tight security in our basement until tomorrow morning when the paperwork is processed. What? I didn't see you bidding your allowance money. That's because you're three months behind on your payments. Goodbye, embarrassing Larry. Hello, manly lady killer Larry. <laughs> Larry's lounge is open for business. 
Well, hello there, sweet thing. I've been expecting you. Is this how we greet each other now? Because I'm not really comfortable with it. Why are you home? You were supposed to be at the auction. No time to explain. Luke got glued to a painting, and we need to plan an elaborate art heist to get him back. Oh, I guess there was time to explain. I heard the door. Is Chelsea here yet? No. And before she gets here, I have a list of things I want you to work into your conversation with her. Larry is strong. Larry is brave. Larry has a sister, so he understands women. Come in. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> Chelsea, what a delightful surprise. What is that lovely fragrance you're wearing? Your dad threw up milk on my shoes. Chelsea, let's go. We got a lot of work to do. Larry, why don't you go outside and play with your friends? I guess I could get my hot rod ready for the illegal street race tonight. Don't be silly. You know you get car sick when you sit in the front. <laughs> Are you almost done? I just need to finish the signature. It's the hardest part to forge. It's your signature? Let's go over the plan again. Once I get the original painting from the storage room, I'll bring it here to the lobby, where you'll switch it with the replica painting. So I just need to find a way to keep Dupe occupied long enough to make the switch. Exactly. So when do I release the badgers? There are no badgers. No badgers? Well, this isn't going to work. Next, you're going to tell me we're ditching the fireworks. There were never any fireworks. Why do your plans always involve animals and fire? We're closed. I have a delivery. I need you to sign for it. Are you sleeping? Yeah, sleeping. Because I definitely didn't accidentally stun myself with what I was so sure was my shaver. You're going to want to take this statue down to the storage room with the rest of the art that you may or may not have. I'm not taking anything anywhere until I inspect the merchandise. For all I know, this could be an illegal shipment of badgers and fireworks. <laughs> Features are so lifelike. <laughs> Except for that nose. Chisel must have slipped on that one. <laughs> uh, please, don't antagonize the statue. <laughs> now, if you'll sign here, I'll be going. There's no form. <laughs> Anywhere on the clipboard is fine. <laughs> Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one thousand. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. I didn't know you were here. Yes, you did. You were in here 20 minutes ago doing power squats. Eh, you know how it is. A man's got to stay strong, right, Mom? Talking points. <laughs> oh, right. Larry is very strong. Once he hugged his stuffed kitty so hard, he popped out one of its googly eyes. Aw, that's adorable. Abort. Change the subject. Oh, uh, Larry is also very brave. When he popped his stuffed kitty's eye out, it only took him five minutes to cry himself to sleep. <sighs> Who goes there? State your name and business. <laughs> Who goes your business? Darn it. Someone ordered a party-sized pizza? There's no party here. Uh, are you sure about that? Maybe it's a surprise party. For you! It all adds up. <laughs> Sorry for the third degree. In the security game, you can't trust anyone.
I'm here to replace a broken fridge. Come on in. Just go poke around until you find the kitchen. Wait! You might need these. Like I was saying, a security guard can't trust anyone. Now, excuse me while I go check every room to see if people jump out and yell surprise. The cheese stands alone. I repeat, the cheese stands alone. Luke, are you okay? I was just sold for $11. What do you think? Now I'm getting stuffed in a pizza bag. This night just keeps getting better. Now, I'll switch to the replica painting so no one will ever know it was missing. By the way, what toppings does... <laughs> What's going on here, pizza man? If that is your real name. It's not what it looks like. No, because it looks like you're attempting to steal that statue. But it also looks like that statue is attempting to steal that painting. And it would also look like I was trapped if I wasn't about to release the badgers! Right. No badgers. <laughs> so, who are you really? Some kind of world-class art thief? Dupe, it's me. Lane Stanley. <gasps> Lane Stanley is a world-class art thief? <laughs> so you infiltrated our community with a fake family, all to gain our trust so you could make off with this art score. <laughs> I knew that wife of yours was way out of your league. I'm not an art thief. And that's my real wife. <laughs> oh, so what, you've got money? I mean, seriously, what does she see in you? Look. This is all a misunderstanding. Uh, that's not even a real statue. Hey, Doop. Ah! That's an electric shaver. I can explain. I'm glad to hear that. But until I get some answers, this entire building is on lockdown. All done. Great. Have a nice night. I'll just need my keys back. But you know what? You keep them. I have spares. Lockdown! Is Chelsea still here? She's just washing up. Why, do you have more talking points to cover? Sure. Let's tell her how I used to be scared of balloons. <laughs> or how I'd stand in the toilet and pretend I was a submarine captain. <laughs> really? Isn't that a bit embarrassing? Oh, I see what you did there. I'm 14, Mom. I'm not a baby. I know that. But you'll always be my little lair bear. Hey, Chelsea, did Larry ever tell you about our last family trip? Oh, not the porta potty story. Where he zip lined across a hundred foot gorge? Oh, not the porta potty story. Here, I have video of it on my phone. Thanks, Mom. Anytime. <laughs> oh, no. Wrong video. Are you kidding? This is hilarious. You should post this on your profile page. Oh, I already did that a few hours ago. What? How else is your grandma going to see this stuff? <laughs> so this whole elaborate plan was just so you could get Luke back? Yeah. Why didn't you just ask? Don't look at me. Your plan involved wild animals and fireworks. <laughs> well, only one thing left to do now. Let us go. No. Take you to the police station. I mean, you still broke a ton of laws, probably. <laughs> yes, that's a very... Cheese it! We're not going to jail! <laughs> hey! Get back here! So, I'll just wait here, then? <laughs> Nobody appreciates art anymore. <laughs> Stop right there! <sighs> I guess you caught me. Well done. The fridge repair guy is the art thief? Oh, I'm no art thief. <gasps> <gasps> Professor Chapman! You know this guy? Sure. 
He's my security guard course instructor. And you, Mr. Dupree, just passed your final exam. Congratulations. Although it was touch and go there when you gave me all the keys to the building. Wait, so this was some kind of test? Exactly. That's why I sabotaged the fridges and bid on that hideous painting. <laughs> so I could learn where the art was stored in order to steal it. Wait, so if you were Professor Moneybags, uh, the refrigerator repairman, and the art thief, then who was the pizza guy? That was you. Whoa. <laughs> Here's your official certificate. I'll just need to take your picture for your security ID. Hold on, I want to look good. <laughs> Let me just shave off this stubble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Off. This is your fifth encore! What's that? You want another encore? Two, three, four!